On a small island off the coast of Costa Rica, man has mastered the secret of creation. We've made living biological attractions so astounding that they'll capture the imagination of the entire planet. Trapped inside ancient amber lies the recipe to the mightiest creatures ever to walk the earth. Where do you get a hundred million year old dinosaur blood? Now, through the power of genetics, extinction has become a thing of the past. Universal Pictures and director Steven Spielberg take you on an adventure 65 million years in the making in Jurassic Park. It's about the idea that man has been able to bring dinosaurs back to Earth millions and millions of years later and what happens when the uh, dinosaurs and man, you know, for the first time come together after so much time. The story begins as billionaire John Hammond brings a diverse group of experts to his island for a preview of his prehistoric creations. Let's get something straight, John. This is not a weekend excursion. This is a serious investigation of the stability of the island. As we all know, one of the great things in current entertainment are the theme parks. And so this particular theme park recreates the Jurassic period with all the varying forms and species of dinosaurs. None of these attractions are ready yet, of course, but the park will open with the basic tour you're about to take. What do they got in there, King Kong? The notion that extinct animals can be recreated genetically was a very fanciful idea, and I was talking to friends at MIT and saying, you know, I had this idea about engineering dinosaurs, and it was interesting because the response of lots of them was, it can be done. It was really neat to see the different kinds of dinosaurs they put in there, like little ones as big as chickens or ones as big as people, all different sizes. Can I touch it? Sure. I loved dinosaurs because I thought they were amazing. And I knew a few of the names, the ones I loved. I loved the pterodactyls, I loved Brachiosaurus, and, you know, and the sweet ones. I wasn't into the T-Rex. Do you feel that? What is that? Dinosaurs and man. Two species separated by 65 million years of evolution have just been suddenly thrown back into the mix together. How can we possibly have the slightest idea of what to expect? We're being hunted. Oh, God. In the bushes straight ahead. The most intelligent dinosaurs were pack hunters, like the predatory dinosaur, Velociraptor. In a way, it's a lot scarier that the raptors be the size of people. It's one thing looking up at a 28-foot-tall T-Rex or a 70-foot-tall Brachiosaur, but it's something else, you know, a predator, predatory dinosaur, you know, on at your own eye level, who is able to hide and hunt and stalk and all these things. They have dinosaurs here that are tremendously lethal, and uh, they're going to break out. But you can't keep them, keep them uh, penned up. The, you don't know how to do that. We don't know how to do that. We can't calculate how to do that, and they'll get out. Fences are failing all over the park. Things are out too. Everything goes haywire, and so we get lost in Jurassic Park. I can't get Jurassic Park back online. It was just a delay. All major theme parks had delays. When they opened Disneyland, nothing worked. Yeah, yeah. But John, the Pirates of the Caribbean breaks down, the pirates don't eat the tourists. I sound like an alarmist, but I think the whole business of fooling around with DNA is very scary indeed. This story has a lot to say about how we would like very, very much to play God and create things that perhaps we were not meant to create. Let's get out of here. Think they'll have that on the tour? 